I was one of the uh, members of the original expedition in 1985 that discovered the, uh, the wreck site. I think part of the lingering fascination is that we didn't ever really complete the, the work that I thought we should do out there. I knew that we had some areas that we hadn't really surveyed that well. And these led to gaps in the, in the overall coverage of the wreck site. So I've always had this desire to go back and, and fill those gaps in. I'm Bill Lang. I run the Advanced Imaging and Visualization Laboratory at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. I'm very proud to be part of this, this team that uh, RMS Titanic has put together to, to go out and, and tackle this daunting task of trying to survey the wreck site. The 3D imagery will be able to provide us with detailed measurements that could be used to uh, help determine corrosion rates on the hull, uh, you know, the size of holes that are opening, things like that. I think that'll be very, very important to a long-term management plan for the wreck site. It's also a technology that Woods Hole and Premier and RMS Titanic want to bring to the public so the public can experience what it's like to dive at these wreck sites. Titanic as a subject matter and as a, and as a shipwreck is, is bigger than any one group. It really takes some dedicated individuals like those at Premier and RMS Titanic and at Woods Hole to kind of lead the way and, and help bring some of the archaeological community and also the scientific community back into the studying this wreck site. It's a unique team. And I think it's going to work together really well. And I, I think we're going to find things and learn things about Titanic that we didn't know about before.